Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to record yourself without hearing yourself in Studio One. Okay, so this is perfect if you want to record your vocals, but hearing yourself in your headphones is kind of throwing you off making you mess up your performance stuff like that this makes it really easy for you to just lay your vocals down then listen back after it's done to make sure everything's all right okay so if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter Ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online business and online marketing this is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here now Let's get straight into this, shall we? This is actually very, very, very easy, okay? Like I did do a video along the same vein as this for FL Studio, and that was way harder. In Studio One, they like everything to do with recording vocals is just much easier. So in order to do this, all you need to do is over here, when you're recording vocals, you'll have this record button, button. Ooh, and you'll have this button, which is usually blue, yeah. like that. Like that and this is your monitoring button okay monitoring is for hearing yourself back in your headphones so when you turn off monitoring you don't hear yourself anymore but when you turn it on, on you hear you yourself. Hear yourself okay so let me quickly record and you'll hear how it doesn't play back and i'll kind of press this and unpress it as i'm recording okay this is the intro part so i'll forward it a little bit uh -uh. Oh shit, it's going right background. That happens. <laughs> oh shit, did it, re did it unrecord everything? Come on, you bastard. You absolute bastard. You can't do that to me. Or is this the recording? Let me check. Okay, this, this is the recording. Oh my God, I thought it just unrecorded everything. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's play this back. As you heard, when I unmuted it, you could hear me back. It's also horribly delayed, which is terrible. The reason why the delay is so bad is because I haven't actually gone into the preferences and turned my sample size down. But the reason why I haven't done that is because when I'm recording in Studio One, I don't really need to turn the sample size down because when it's recording, it actually turns the sample size down for me. So when I listen back to my vocals, it's actually on time. So let's listen back. Okay, this is the intro part, so I'll forward it a little bit. Yeah, let's forward it. <laughs> so about there. Well, you don't need to hear all my nanas. It's not really going to add much more context to you. Basically, you can see that I've recorded. I didn't hear myself. It works, yeah? All you need to do is click on this, this. blue button. It will be blue when you start up, uh, where you create your recording track, but you want to turn off. You want to click on it so it's not blue anymore, and then you'll be able to record without hearing yourself back. Very, very easy, very, very simple hope this video helped you out if you haven't done so already you should probably check out my spotify ready vocal mixing template which you can get by going to jcarteray.com forward slash vocal templates and this will basically make it so your vocals are half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage so like as i just did here i just loaded up my template and this is what my vocals sound like now, obviously this is a <laughs> just the melody track it's not actually lyrics but it already sounds clean and spotify ready 
I don't really have to do much to that. So if you want to have the same results, then definitely check out the template. Link will also be in the description down below. And you should also check out the description for my five absolutely free beats that you can use to actually start making money from your music, upload your song to Spotify, other streaming platforms and that sort of stuff. So you can use that Spotify ready template, use the beats, get your songs up and running, get out on Spotify, start making money from your music. Now, my question of the day is, why do you like to record without hearing yourself in your headphones? Like I've known some people that like to record while hearing themselves. Maybe you're not even watching this video to learn how to turn off monitoring for yourself. Maybe you're doing it for someone else who records in your studio. Maybe you're doing it for instrument recording purposes. Let me know in the, in the comment section down below. But I especially want to know like, why do you not like hearing yourself back while you're recording? Personally, I don't, it kind of distracts me. And usually there's a delay. Even if I turn the sample size down, I'm hearing a delay anyways. I prefer to just hear nothing and then come back and listen to it when I'm ready. And then I can actually hear what everything sounds like. But some people, you know, it's better to listen so you can understand, especially what the effects are doing, what the auto tune's doing and that sort of stuff. But personally, yeah, I, I just love just doing it and then listening back and then i'll hear what everything's doing and then i'll adjust from there but yeah let me know in the comment section down below if you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make leave those in the comment section down below as well and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online marketing peace out